Hey, what's going on? What's up? What's up? How are you? Good to see you. Oh my God. Welcome. Welcome. Let's go. Welcome. Okay. He has ready. Oh man, we got it. We got everything. I've been making the tradition addition like Darius. It's the only one I know how to make. Trying to get my 100% every single play. And then, I mean, I just love the game. Rice in the stew, and that makes our traditional rice called jollof rice. Hey, mom, does this look right? You all know what to do. Really honor my dad, honor everything that my dad instilled in me. How does that do right here? Football means everything to me. Let's go, man. In Nigeria, they just eat it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 2003, that's when the war broke out. It was a blessing for me to see my mom, man. Because, you know, from Liberia, if the food is spicy, it ain't good. Satisfied. Satisfied, bro. Uh, get better today, baby. Good vibes are immaculate as always. I got a chocolate bar and an applesauce. It's gonna get me going all day. I love my job, dude. Since like the day I started playing football, I was so addicted to it. Always in front of a TV, watching college football, like watching NFL, like I'm talking about like all day from morning to night. Football has changed my life in ways I can't even explain, man. I love this game, man. When I'm training, I train to be the best. I want people to know that I give them my all. You know, whatever we wanted to do, was it was about, hey, you got to do your homework first. Right. Was like, there was no, yeah, like, if, sure. if, like, that was number one. Like, <laughs> yeah, if yeah. I wanted like if I wanted to come back home and go out and hang out with everybody, it was first, I got to make sure I take care of what, right. the responsibilities at the house. And there's no talking back. There's no talking back. <laughs> no, that's not even, that's, that's not, not even. even. Yeah. You don't even, you don't even think about yeah, it. Like, about like, it. Like, <laughs> you, go to, you go to your friend's house, right? And right. Go, oh, that, that's, people are talking back to me. No, I, mean, I swear, oh, I like, first time I seen that, I was like, whoa. You're like, no, he's about to get like, it, he's right? about to like, get destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, that's not even, like, that's no, that's not even an option. So discipline in our house was, yeah. but it, but it, 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 it formed me, it, it made me yeah. who I am today, you know what For I mean? Sure. I appreciate it, and you go back and you think about all the lessons and all that that, yeah. you know, that they taught us. appreciate it all. You know, from them having to struggle just to get here right. and understand what they had to do. Right. To just make it, you know what I mean? So For just, sure. you have a better appreciation for what you have. Right. I remember back in like seventh grade, I had like a C in math. Like it wasn't even a C like at the end of the grading period. Like it was just a C, a C at the time. We had like, we still had time left to get it up. But my dad saw that and he was like, oh, you're, you're done playing basketball. Called my coach, like took me off the basketball team like until I got my grades back up. Like, yeah, they did not play about that stuff. Sad part of my life, you know, my dad who taught me everything, who taught me all that discipline, hard work. Uh, he actually unfortunately passed away of a heart attack, you know, um, when I was 15 years old. So, you know, I lost him at an early age. I feel like at those, you know, peak years for a young boy to have their father. So, and then, you know, in our culture, in the Nigerian culture, it's like I became the man of the house, you know, right then at 15. And all I wanted to do was just make sure my family was straight. When my dad died, it was like, kind of opened my eyes to like, man, like, the world is real. Welcome to the show. In college, I actually almost had got the, the game of football taken away from me. Because, you know, my dad actually died of a heart attack. And then now I'm having a heart attack at 20 years old. So it's like, well, wow, this is, this is crazy. So I started seeing everything in the big picture. Like every time I did, I was doing like a workout, I hear people complaining. I'm like, nah, this is going to help me down the line. <laughs> Be present where you are, because I wish I could go back and just breathe so much more present, you know, in those days. You just don't know until it's gone, and when it's gone, you can never get it back. He didn't get to watch a high school game. He didn't get to watch a college game, an NFL game, but I've got all my family with me now, though, and they're all watching it, living it out, and I know he's up there, you know, looking down, and he's extremely proud, so.
chica. It's up, good, up, baby. How we doing, man? Yo, man. Yes, sir. Man. Jay Chan, play Pac Time. Let's get it, man. Let's go and run some 2K. Dog food. Woo! For me, I would say like our friendship is growing a lot. Really? Doing a bunch of activities together, like hiking and you know, just kicking it, talking about life. You gotta knock that one down. I'm, yeah! Hey, it gives a test, man. Tie game, 14-14. Good D, Giannis. Oh my God. Man, no, 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 funny. Always joking all the time. You know, you're the first one like you just got them hidden communication. You know, you know, you just got that. You just look at him and just know exactly. <laughs> He doesn't oh, know no, exactly wait, what, he, what he's that. thinking. Get up that quick. Hey, man, GG's, man. No, you man, know. no, man. I won, man. Hey. They have no evidence. Hey, you know what it is, You know man. what it is, man. Yes, hey. sir. Afrobeats means a lot, man. Like, uh, like I said earlier, it's definitely like the genre I listen to the most. Um, you know, it gets you going, man. It gets the heart flowing. You know, it gets the body moving a little you bit. Can dance, you can dance to any Afrobeats. Yeah, you can literally dance, dance to any Afrobeats, Afrobeat, man. I like it, chicks, that man. It's the spirit, home, man. It's, man. Like, it's like, it just, you feel it in your spirit. You feel it in the spirit, spirit, man. man. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that beast get on, man. It's so you catchy. Just, you just want to move, honestly. Yeah, that would be rockets. Going back home was great though. It was yeah. like, wow, okay. I mean, it was right. So like now, like so now when you yeah. go back home, is it do you see it differently? Or yeah, like, it was you know like I mean? it was like a whole. It's like nothing yeah. like I remembered it when I was coming here. You know, it's not like big buildings, it's like shopping yeah. malls, and it's like McDonald's out there now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but uh, you know, growing up early on in uh, Liberia, man, it was great. Um, you know, my uh, my mom and uh, my grandma. My grandma had worked really hard to get us in like a comfortable place in Liberia. So, you know, it was, you know, it was pretty comfortable, I'd say. So it was like 2003, it was like 2003, I was like eight. And uh, civil war had broke out in my country. And, uh, you know, that was a really tough time. A lot of kids didn't get to see their parents again. Yeah. Uh, me and my mom actually being, uh, ended up getting separated during the war. And, uh, you know, that was a very tough time for me because my mom was my best friend, you know. She's my everything. It was tough, man. It was a really tough time. There was a lot of, a lot of child soldiers, man. And, uh, you, know, you know, just me seeing a lot of stuff a kid shouldn't see at a young age, man. Uh, after the war ended, me and my mom were supposed to, you know, reunite. Which is a huge blessing, man. I say this a lot. It's a huge blessing for a lot of kids. You know, they didn't get the opportunity to see their parents again after the war. So, you know, that was great. And then, you know, as time went on, the country, you know, got better and better again. And then finally got the opportunity to come to America. That was amazing, man. It was like, whoa, new place, you know. I'm excited. Land of opportunity. Yeah, man. They've officiated this game pretty well tonight. Nice job. Garantano dropping, looking. He is sacked! Sam Okamundi gets the game! Woo! Let's go! Ah, this football dream, man. You know, my dude's just like, you know, he sure you don't want to hit the books. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, doctor, 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 lawyer. Doctor and lawyer. Yeah, you know, the traditional the African path, right. man. Doctor, lawyer, doctor, nurse. Lawyer, you're <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, I was like, you know, I'm going to try to the football thing, man. Lance. Tack! Okawanu, the rookie. You look back at the journey. I always look back at the journey and I'm just like, man, I've wanted this since I was eight years old. Like, how many people know what they've wanted in life, like, since like, they were just a, like a child and, like, really got to go on that path and just complete it? So, for me, it means, like, it means everything to me. Like, Chig Okonkwo with an opening statement here, loud his way through the Kansas City Chiefs. It's just nice to be able to take care of your people. Like, yeah, yeah. At a moment's notice, I can just help anyone in my family. Right. 
I want to see the people that I care about happy. That's why I'm really doing all this. So everyone that comes from me will have freedom to do whatever they want to do in life. The women in his life, the women who love him, The NFL Africa is doing a lot of work with, you know, back in Africa and trying to get, like, they, they sent some, I think, some teams over to compete in some in a, uh, flag football opportunities, too. But, yeah, at some point, man, we'll, I know I know you've talked about going back over there and being a part of something yeah, like that. Sure. I want to help people, man, especially in Africa, man. I want to build some schools out there, too. I actually want to build a house in Liberia and move back home. I don't want football, man and uh, really see how I can help my people develop out my country best I can. There's a lot of talent in Africa, man. I'm saying, man. Just imagine how much, hey, hidden, okay. so much hidden talent just yeah. with, so with no opportunity. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like, I don't know about y'all, but like, whenever I see like another, you know, African or like, it's immediately like, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's man. man. Yeah, it's crazy. Because you just immediately understand and know yeah, kind of yeah. like the, up, the upbringing right. you know, and everything. They, you just like understood. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Talking is over. Y'all know what y'all gotta do. Let's get it cracking, yeah? Yes, sir. All right, man, let's go. Africa on three. One, two, three. Africa!